Capulet Fest, a three-day outdoor rock and roll metal festival, changed venues suddenly, leaving a lot of fans frustrated and wanting a refund. Chief Investigative Reporter Sam Smink spoke with the event's promoter, and she is joining us live in Hartford with what she has learned. Sam? I'm at the Webster Theater in Hartford. Already dozens have lined up to see Capulet Fest. Now, Capulet Fest was not originally supposed to be here. It was supposed to be at the Thompson Speedway, a venue that is much bigger, which has left some fans frustrated, and they reached out to us. Well, the festival organizer announced only Wednesday night that the event would be moving. That's when those several fans we mentioned reached out to us, say, saying they would no longer be attending because they were concerned about parking and camping options they'd already paid for. When we asked the promoter Esteban Vega of Capulet Entertainment why the event was moved, he said that there were some, quote, production needs he couldn't accommodate and disagreement over payments. A source tells us Vega failed to pay several companies involved in the production. Vega told us he will accommodate everyone who shows up, saying he booked hotels for those who were supposed to camp, and he will find parking around the venue for everyone. Miranda Farr and her boyfriend travel from Pennsylvania and say it's not worth the headache. Uh, cumulatively, we paid about almost $500 to get here, and we are not attending at all. And if they can't, will they get refunds? We're working that out, so I, I can't say yes or no at the moment. Um, we definitely have clearly stated policies when people purchase tickets. We also had uh, clearly available ticket purchase protection, which was an option for people. Another question, will everybody be able to fit into the venue all weekend? We know Sunday's show is sold out and that the show will be held in the downstairs room, which can only hold 250. We do have that answer coming up at 6 o'clock. For now, everybody that's waiting outside seems very excited. We haven't seen any parking problems. The venue, uh, the parking lot behind the venue hasn't filled up quite yet. Some people are parking in the street, and we do see one camper at a lot right across from the venue. Again, we'll see you back here at 6. We're Live, Sam Smink, Channel 6 o'clock, an iTeam exclusive, a three-day music festival, is facing a lot of criticism after the event's promoter suddenly changed venues. Many fans reached out to the iTeam wanting refunds and answers about what happens next. And Chief Investigative Reporter Sam Smink tracked down the promoter to try to get answers. She joins us now live outside the festival's new location, Webster Theater in Hartford. Sam. We're told by the Webster Theater owner about 600 to 700 people are expected here tonight. We did see dozens of people going in. So far, none of them have mentioned any parking problems, but that was where the concern came from. The Thompson Speedway, the previous venue, was much larger, and many fans are frustrated. Here at the Webster Theater, dozens are already ready to rock out at Capulet Fest. Joey Helstowski and Miranda Farr will not be joining them, despite driving five hours. Uh, cumulatively, we paid about almost $500 to get here, and we are not attending at all. That's because the promoter for Capulet Fest suddenly announced less than two days ago they would be switching venues, going from Thompson Speedway to the Webster Theater. It makes you feel frustrated and helpless. James Power had prepaid for parking at the Speedway. At least 25 others paid for camping. Buddy, there's no parking in Hartford, so there's no parking accommodations, and there's no camping in Hartford. Several bands dropped out, telling fans there wasn't room for them anymore. We caught up with the festival promoter, Esteban Vega. It's not the Speedway's fault. Um, they wanted to still do the event there. We wanted to still do the event there. I'm sure people have been uh, hearing and speculating online as to what all went down. Um, but yeah, we just couldn't, we couldn't make the production work. A source tells the I-Team Vega failed to pay several companies involved in the production. Uh, I would say <laughs> that is not fully true. Um, we, we, we disagreed on, on certain amounts and uh, certain pay schedules, but there was money invested. There was several six figures invested. Vega says some bands were dropped because of the smaller space. Those who paid for parking will still get a spot, although there is only one lot behind the Webster available. He did say there's a second lot for campers. One who bought tickets able, going to be able to get in? Uh, as it stands now, yes. Um, we, we definitely can accommodate um, today and tomorrow. Sunday is sold out. At Mike from New Haven says he's just going with the flow and that the smaller venue doesn't bother him. 
So, and I mean, it, it was a further distance than I was expecting, but I'm just enjoying the weekend. As for those who aren't attending. And if they can't, will they get refunds? We're working that out. So I, I can't say yes or no at the moment. Um, we definitely have clearly stated policies when people purchase tickets. The people we spoke with who are no longer going say they intend to contact the attorney general. Now we do see one pe one person have a camper out at the parking lot next to the Webster. Uh, the owner tells us that you are able to park in their lot behind here, but it is very small. And again, the other lot right next to it, it does belong to campers. So far, we haven't heard of any problems, but we know that Sunday's show is sold out and the show will be in the theater downstairs, which only holds 250 people. Reporting in Hartford, Sam Spank, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Morning, a music festival under fire after a last minute venue change will not finish. Late last night, organizers of the Capulet Festival took to social media to announce today's slate of artists will not take the stage. Channel 3 Eyewitness, Eyewitness News reporter Mike Cerullo is live in the studio to break down exactly what's going on. Mike, what can you tell us? Well, Elliot today's show was actually supposed to be sold out. But now the event that claims to be New England's premier alternative music festival is going out with a whimper. It's final day, canceled on Friday. The Channel 3i team first told you with less than two days notice, the promoter of Capulet Fest, Estevan Vega, changed the location from Thompson Speedway to the Webster Theater in Hartford, a smaller venue over an hour away. According to an iTeam source, Vega had failed to pay several companies involved in the production. After the abrupt change, several bands dropped out, some telling fans there was not room for them anymore. Some ticket holders were outraged. After prepaying for parking and camping in Thompson, Capulet Fest has not given a specific reason for the early end to the festival, but on its website cited unforeseen circumstances. A Facebook post from the event's page reads in part, we fought we wrestled with obstacle after obstacle. We became a target. We became hated. Even when we were doing our best to save something and give you the best show possible, no one sees the sacrifice. All they do is judge. We did everything we could. Right now, it's not clear if refunds will be given out, and we are working to learn that information and update you. Some people, we're told, have reached out to the Attorney General for help. Live in the studio, Mike Cirillo, Channel 3, Highness News.